So, uh, alright, welcome back, everybody! Last we left off, the party had entered a large building on the top layer of Carceri. After venturing deep through old hallways and stairwells, you stumbled upon a pair of imps, walking away from the party, unobservant and unaware. With quick strikes, the party silently took down the pair of imps and recovered two boxes from them. One with strange food inside, the other with a large, singular gemstone. Soon after, the party entered a large room with Stygian water surrounding a throne. A large, fiendish creature was berating its apparent servants, two imps when you interrupted. The fiend introduced itself as Shalermok, and waited arrogantly for one of you to make the first move, a move which Ember obliged. After a long and tough fight that left some more memories missing from Ember and Emrys, the party cleared the room and made it safe for camp. Without your magical carriage, rest was less than comfortable, but eventually you managed to- you were ready to activate the magical sigil in the center of the room, which was assumed to be the doorway to the next layer of Carceri. Using the gemstone, using the gemstone found on the imp, and another gemstone found on Shalermok, you were able to activate the sigil to send the six of you in two groups. The first group containing Lawrence, em Ember, and Anubis, and the second group being Emrys, Doric, and Dearest. After popping into a fresh new world, your eyes are filled with a crimson multitude of beautiful plants. However, the two groups have seemingly been separated by some distance. You are unable to see the other group through the dense foliage, which moves with a strange perturbation, almost as if it senses your presence. The world is yours. Let me pull up my notes. And I can have everyone join the owlbear. I'm in there! Alright, so everyone can see the beautiful oh. land before you. God. Yeah, it looks awesome. Looks like when you go just a little too far in one direction in Terraria and you're like, oh, I'm an EBDB now. <laughs> the crimson! <laughs> oh, it's like the hollow mixed with the crimson. Very nice looking. Looks um, very much like an acid trip to me. <laughs> acid. Are, are we aware of the other group being where they are? Do you... <clears throat> we'll say, let's see, the first group that teleported in was Lawrence's group. So, Lawrence, your group heard the teleportation pop of the other group. However, Doric, your group is not aware of where the other group is unless they start to make some noise. Okay. I'm gonna, like, whisper to the Ember and Nubis. Hey, um, do either of you have message? I don't want to make too much noise, but I think I heard the others teleport. No, but I'm loud. I can just yell. Is it yes. quiet here, sort of like the previous round? Uh, it's a bit, a bit louder. There's actually a nice wind blowing through all of the trees, making a, a very, very pleasant white noise. Doesn't seem to be many animals, but uh, the leaves are rustling. Jar rustling. Yeah. Whatever. If we, so we just... if we heard where they're coming from, I uh, I suggest we just start making our way towards where we heard the pop. Hmm. That's true. Let's start walking. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Move your tokens in the direction you're moving, please. And I will switch over. Don't move too far. But, uh... Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Doric, <laughs> Emrys, what are you guys doing? If I peek this way... Yeah? What uh, is going on over here? It looks like the path you're on kind of continues. Sort of like a maze. 
kind of more just like a a winding forest path not it doesn't look intentionally designed uh, can I make a perception check to see if I see them or any sign of them being here of the other group Investigate. yeah some sort of check I make a perception we're making check. so much noise over here what perception. are you guys doing oh my god we're making noise hey oh my god <laughs> we're rustling uh, that's a we're rustling. nine a nine no you can't hear them over the it's rustle, rustle of the wind damn eh is that a Do you... <laughs> Do you see where they went um I'm not really sure. We've got like three different paths ahead of us, if you have a preference. It was just a moment. I would assume they would have stayed put here. I guess I'm going to have you guys stop in that little area, the little bend oh. right, right there. Uh, should we choose a path to go on? Or should we just wait for them? I don't think they would go too far off without us. I'm sort of inclined to look north where the trees change colors, but if you'd like to wait, I'm good with that too. Hmm. I mean, just a little peek. I'm sure we'll hear, the, hear them at least. Ember, what if you crack your whip? We're not an incredibly quiet party, so. Hey, that's Just true. Crack my whip? Yeah, crack your whip. They'll hear that. It's quite recognizable. I suppose. Okay, everyone stand back, I guess. Whip. <laughs> give, us, give us a show. Come on. You crack your whip out and. Uh... Go micromanage my whipping, dude. Play Freebird. Go <laughs> backseat whip, me, please. Play Freebird on your whip. Um, yeah. Can I have. Anyway, guys, he's wonderful. Can I have all three of you, uh, Lords, Ember, and Anubis, give me. Um, ooh, let's see. What would that be? Give me. Dex, be noticeable? Dex, a, give me acrobatics checks. Oh, God. Interesting. Actually, actually, no. Don't do that. Are you trying to avoid touching the plants? No. <laughs> I'd say probably, yeah. Okay, so anyone, so if you're trying to avoid touching the plants, give me an acrobatics check as you pass through this narrow area. But Anubis doesn't but sound I, like he's trying to avoid touching them. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> knowing like, that, like, if, like, this looks like a, a kind of precarious place, could I, like, use a sword or like a javelin or something to try to chop away at the oh, yeah. plant yeah inside. absolutely the plants don't look they the, the plants don't look like different or anything they're just kind of bright red they look like normal plants at first glance that, yeah but that seems like it could be poisonous to me i just wouldn't this is metagaming but i just wouldn't touch them at all if nope, i were you too too I, late lawrence no, has no. No. Dork Over will there. avoid plants because he remembers what Nar said. Yep. Oh. All right. So, Lawrence, you're kind of using a, a javelin to push through the plants. Is that what I'm getting? Kind of trying to, like, chop away at them. Sure. Possible. Sure. Uh, Ember, give me an acrobatics check. It was a seven. A seven. Okay. So, the three of you. <clears throat> this is fun. The three of you <laughs> are. I don't like it when the DM says that. <laughs> You guys are pushing your way through these plants as it narrows down. There's only maybe like a two foot gap and Lawrence being wide as he is and Anubis being as tall as he is, uh, you guys can't fit. So Anubis, you're just kind of pushing through the plants and as you touch them, you don't immediately feel it, but you know, a few seconds after they brush across your skin, you begin to feel this terrible burning sensation on your skin. And I need you to take, uh, Oh, you're lucky. Three acid damage. <clears throat> Lawrence. He's gonna kind of like swat at his skin and go, ah, Ivy. Yeah. And as you continue to do this, you're gonna keep 
uh, brushing against the plants and keep taking that damage unless you change your your methods. Lawrence, you uh, slash through some of the upcoming plants, meaning that you don't get hit with this acid damage. However, <clears throat> are you using a javelin or a sword? I'll say a sword, spell okay. leader. So since your sword is magical, the acid does not begin to eat through it, which is lucky for you. Oh, oh God. <laughs> However, um, since I see that, oh, sorry, you're still going. Yeah, still going. Ember cracks your, you crack your whip out, <clears throat> taking, shearing off a branch above you. Um, you're not super cognizant of where your whip is in this confined area, and a branch kind of breaks off above you from the impact. And at this point, the other group hears the whip crack. You also hear a large, low grumble underneath the ground beneath uh, the far group, the uh, the group with Lawrence. And branches and vines animate and reach out, grasping your sword and your whip so that they are being held by the foliage. And it does not look happy. I need everyone oh. to roll initiative. Oh. Oh, everyone. Yeah. Everyone roll initiative. Hey, 22. Shit. Better than a puff. Five. I'm gonna go fill up my Ten. drink. I have a five. I'm gonna be back. Fifteen. I got an eight. Right. What was Doric? What was yours? Ten. And Emrys, what was yours? Fifteen. Thank you. All right, Ember, you're quick yeah. on your feet and react uh, immediately to this unseen branch grasping at your fluip. How do you react? Um, can I just lunge back for where direction it's coming from? Yeah, sure. Are you grabbing your fluip out of it? Are you trying to ret... Are you trying yeah, to Yeah, I'm taking wrench? my fluip with okay. me. Okay. Give me an athletics check. Okay. Eight. Eight. That does not succeed. So you cannot you cannot oh, you cannot rest your fluip from it. You can still jump back if you wish. I'm not letting go of my full whip. Rip the flip. Does that count as an action or a bonus action? Uh trying to grasp it would be an action. I just realized this song is not as long as I thought it was, so we're gonna switch it up. As my bonus action, I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to Lawrence. That's 1d8. Thank you. The end of my turn. There we go. All right. Uh, so you're, are you moving back? No, I'm, I'm staying here with my flip. I'm not letting it go. All righty. <laughs> Emrys, you have not really heard you heard like the the whip crack, but nothing happens around you guys. So you guys are not really in combat right now. Are you doing anything, or are you just kind of poking around? Um, I see there's a vine here. Yep. Can I take my turn to sort of survey the plants around me? Absolutely. Give me a nature check. I'm specifically looking for, like, sentience or danger. Okay. Um, I think I've only rolled a six, though. A six. Give me one second to see. I might be able to re-roll it. Uh, this isn't an ability check, is it? Yes, it is. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna... I get to add a d4 to it. Alrighty. That's only an eight, but oh well. Yeah, no, it 
just looks like normal <laughs> thorny vines. Uh, that'll be it for my turn then. <clears throat> From the underbrush back to uh, Lawrence's group, uh, two large roots thorn with two large vines, not roots, with thorns on them are going to lash out at uh, the two attackers. That's going to be a 16 to hit you, Ember, and a 16 to hit you, Lawrence. Miss. All right, so, Ember, you're going to take nine bludgeoning damage. And nine acid damage. No, no, sorry, Greg. Not, not, not yet. But you are grappled. Okay. It's just nine. Yep, just nine. Uh, that's your turn. Um, and Doric, you're up. All right. Um. There is nothing really going on. Like, you haven't really heard anything. I mean, you heard the whip crack, you heard a gentle rumble, but... No sense of danger around you guys. Emrys is just kind of closely examining a vine. Uh, can I identify that whip crack as... Ember? Yeah, yeah, you've been around him for enough that that sounds like Ember's whip crack. It has a very, um unique quality to the sound that is easily identifiable as his flu whip. Well, that sounded like Amber. Perhaps they're over that way. Should we, uh, make our way over there, or... Yeah, by the way, probably. By the way, remember what Nar said about the plants here. They're acidic. Oh... Um... I was just going to be careful on the account that we are in some plane, not the usual one, but that's a good point. I, uh, I mean, best to assume that everything here wants to kill us, so. Uh. <coughs> uh, sorry. All right, should we just make our way over there then? Yeah, I'd say so. Alright. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Spencer, this might be bending the rules a bit, but since I didn't move last turn, can I move now with... Sure. Yeah, that's fine. No, you have to use your action to dash or you're fucked. I could. <laughs> I have it as a bonus. Yeah, we're, we're sticking with you guys having loose initiative right now, just because... Um... Yeah, not not really in combat. That's my full speed because I am <clears throat> slow. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm just walking next to you, so. All right, Lawrence, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually open up with a really fucking big spell. Um, I want to use the fourth level spell, Blight. Actually. Oh. Oh I'm god! Gonna, I, I, I'm gonna use that as a fifth level spell, actually. Okay, what um, are you what are you targeting? The plant. All the plant matter around you. Yeah. How? What radius is blight? Um, is it a radius? It. Let's see. A creature of your choice. It's over a range. creature of your choice. So, whatever is considered a creature. So if I need to choose like a specific point, I'm gonna choose the vines that are grappling Ember. Sure. Yeah, it says if you target a plant, a plant creature, or a magical plant, it takes the saving throw with disadvantage. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, you know what? I, I have use this that spell. As a spell not fifth. If you target a plant creature or a magical plant, it makes the saving throw with disadvantage and the spell deals maximum damage to it. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're gonna target the vines. <clears throat> around you. I'll say, you know, you get maybe like a 20 foot or a, like a 10 foot radius to effect because you're basically surrounded by plants. To target one plant would be a waste of a fourth level spell slot. Mm -hmm. um, so all of the grasping vines, we'll say, around you 
All right, is that a con save? That is a con save with disadvantage. Hmm. Nine. Nine? Nine. All right, eight times eight is... 64. 64. 64. It takes 64, um, I believe, necrotic, right? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, necrotic. <laughs> That's fucked Jeez. up, man. That is. Yeah, uh, you watch as the vines, they're still there, but um, the vines that are grappling Ember are still there. However, the vines that are, like, kind of writhing around in the underbrush, most of them have died off. Okay. Um, and you've also uh -huh. opened up a area that you are no longer near the plants, because some of these are non-magical, and I need to mark that out for you. Nice. So this this area is now free of plants. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna see if I can try to move up a little bit. Alrighty. Move up to like here. Sounds good. Uh, and that'll be my turn. Yeah, you're gonna take a opportunity attack. Ah, no, you cleared an area enough. That's good. All right, mark that spell off. Anubis, you're up. Alrighty. So nothing's like hostile to me, right? You're not sure. Nothing's attacked you yet. Okay, um, I'm going to cast Protection from Energy on myself. Um, actually, I'm going to cast it on... Self. I'm, I'm reckless enough. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have resistance to acid for Ooh. concentration up to an hour. Oh, right. Which is nice. Um, and then I'm going to move to outside of like, oh wait, I was here. Uh, I'm going to try to move to outside where I see is like safe. Okay. Um, and test to see if, like, they're going to attack me or if it's just because these guys started attacking nature. How are you testing that? Just I'm just walking out like I was before. I'm not, I'm, I'm still not, I've changed, uh, bef before they started attacking our weapons, I was going to say, you know what, Anubis is going to take out his scythe and start doing stuff. And then you said <laughs> it was going bad. So I was like, you know, I know. But he's not, he's not touching and pushing against stuff now if he can help it. Like, he's just, like... You know, trying to go around a spider web. I don't want to touch it. Okay, so this area is full of spiky vines. Okay, um... I'll stand right outside of it. <laughs> Alright. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Alrighty. Ember Delight, you're grappled. You're gonna take some acid damage. Oh. Ten acid damage. Oh. Don't hurt! Hurts. You can make an acrobatics or athletics check to try and break out of his grapple. I'm gonna do an acrobatics check. Alrighty. Eleven. Sorry, doesn't pass. You struggle against the vines, and doing so, they begin to secrete more acid. Mm, secretions. <laughs> anything else on... anything else on your turn I, 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 I don't really can't, can't do anything I don't want to waste all my body inspiration died yeah yeah no it's the end of my turn I guess all right Emrys back to you at this point, you've you've heard the casting of various spells, including one of a sounded like a large energy siphon that you've only heard once before during the attack on the uh, tavern. Crazy. Okay. Um. I guess I'm just gonna start running over. Alrighty. Which path are you taking? 
As you as you come up to this area, you can just barely make out your party through this grove right here. So like the the bottom side is thinner to get there, right? Right. Yeah. I could I get advantage because I'm small. Um, I'm just a little guy. He is just a little guy. You, you gotta are just a little, guy. just a little guy. I will say I... yes. You can get advantage on your acrobatics check, but it still is difficult <laughs> yes. to read. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll use my bonus section to. Oh wait, I can see through. Barely. Yeah. But yes, you can kind of see the <laughs> your party members, but you can't see anything really attacking them. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll go through with my dash, which gives me like fifteen feet. Wow, that's like nothing. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty big map. Okay. All right, acrobatics check for me, please. Is this an ability? Yes, it is. It's just an 11. Oh, sorry. No. With advantage? Yeah, my rolls. I need to get it. The Emerus dice has been shit lately. Oh. Exceeding it. All right. That's a critical hit. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Okay. As, as a reaction, yeah. So you're gonna take you're gonna take twenty uh, bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. Wow. Okay. Save your turn. Mm -hmm. Right. This one's turn is going to. Moving out from the underbrush in not not like a full creature, but it's just like a mass of plant matter just kind of shambles on the ground out of here and uh, constitutes itself in between Lawrence and Ember. Um, it's going to attack you, Lawrence. I fucking dare it. That's going to be a 24 to hit. Aww. And a 16 to hit. Miss. Alright, so on the 24 to hit, you're going to take 18 bludgeoning damage. And it's going to engulf you. Ooh. No. <laughs> Damn. So just to mark that, we're going to add a little, little tree icon here. Wherever that is. Lawrence has been engulfed. Uh, you no. are blinded, restrained, and unable to breathe. Oh! Jesus. Alrighty. Uh, Doric, you're up. You've just watched em Emrys speed away on his little lizard feet and immediately got picked up in the air by some vines. All right. Well, seeing this, that Dork's little legs are not going to cut it. He's going to climb on top of Dearest. <laughs> uh, and he's going to tell Dearest to uh, see his legs. Okay. All right. And that is going to be... Oh, actually, I didn't even check. Ah, oh, damn. What's wrong? I forgot, and I was gonna plan. Uh, did not. Never mind. Lawrence, you're up next. Okay. Uh. 
Dork is going to... Oh, uh, as soon as... Dork is going to take out his hammer, and he's going to prepare an action to cast... Uh, sword Burst on the uh, vines grabbing Emerus when he gets there. Okay. And so it's the end of Dork's turn, which will bring us to Dearest. Who has to dash. Okay. Come on, God. I hate moving multiple tokens. Is Dearest trying to avoid the vines? I'm assuming not. Um, no, not really. Dork is. Give me that sword burst. All right, sword burst. That will be... That's a a deck save of 17. Thirteen, fail. Yay! They're not very dexterous, they're vines. Yeah. That'll be 12 force damage as Doric lashes out with spectral vines and thorns of his own. Alright. Uh, let's see if this attack against Dearest hits. It does not. All right, Lawrence, you're up. Um, all right, so I am blinded and restrained, right? Yeah, inside a, a mound of plant matter. Uh, you're blinded, um, restrained, and unable to breathe. Okay. If I'm, uh, if I'm unable to breathe, I'm... Can I, like, spend a little bit of my limited breath casting a spell with verbal components? No, you cannot. Damn. Uh, you do also take acid damage at the start of your turn. Another 10 acid damage. And there's no way to escape this? Uh, yeah, you can try and escape. Um, you can... Athletics check. Okay, that's something I'm good with. Um, I choose to use the Bardic Inspiration before rolling, right? Nope, you can do it after. Okay, cool. Athletics. Um, that's a 16. I'm gonna add the Bardic Inspiration. All right. I'm also gonna check and see. Yeah. That 16 becomes 19. Nice. Bursting from this plant matter, the uh, the body of Lawrence Colmer erupts. You are now free and no longer blinded, restrained, or suffocating. Oh. Uh, so that was your action, your bonus action. Oh. Let's see. And um, uh, I think I'm going to stay here. Well, I'll leave the inside of it. I'll come here, I guess. Um, I'll... Yeah, that'll be my turn. I'm just going to do it. Alrighty. <clears throat> Anubis, you're up. Um... At this rate, with everything going wrong, uh, Noob's just gonna yell out to the other group and be like, We're over here! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Anubis and Lawrence, like, doing a quick scan of your surroundings, you can see movement coming from over here and uh, assume that they are coming to your aid. Can we respond? Yeah, yeah. No more than yes, a sentence, we know. but... <laughs> Good. We're fighting angry trees. Help. Um, I'm going to run over to Ember and uh, give him guidance. 
this mound is blocking the pathway. Oh no, you can you can actually walk around here because you killed the trees, the tr the grass. Yeah. Good job. All right, so what are you doing to him? Casting guidance and then walking away so that way he can rest this thing from his from his his fl fl whip. All right. Go to the vines. Let's see. Those haven't been triggered, so just the ones around Emrys. Uh, oh, wrong one. There we go. 19 to hit, Emrys. That hits. Yeah, okay, so you're gonna take uh, 15 bludgeoning damage as the vines wrap and pierce into your skin and crush you. It's a, it's a mix of bludgeoning and piercing, but I don't think that really matters for you. Um, yeah. Alright. And the next one is going to be against Dearest. 26 to hit, that hits. So Dearest is going to take 14 damage. Um, Doric, is Dearest immune to acid? Uh, no, he is immune to poison. Gotcha, okay. All right, so How much damage was that? 14? Uh, yes, 14, and Dearest is also grappled now. Damn it. Uh, Ember Delights, you're up. Hey, I want to get out... out of this grapple. Okay, uh, first <laughs> off, you're gonna take acid damage. Another 10! Wow, okay, this just keeps rolling 10s. You're gonna take 10 acid Ooh. damage. And you can attempt to break free of the grapple with guidance from uh, Anubis. Okay, athletics check of 12. How much is guidance? 1d4. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's a 4! Oh. 16! Just oh. barely. Just oh barely. <laughs> Oh. You break free of the grapple, you're no longer yeah, grappled. Freedom! Alright, what are you uh, doing? Can I, get, can I get past the big creature thing? Um, you can attempt to. You're gonna have to push through Anubis over here, probably. If, yeah, if I use my bonus action to disengage, even though I'm taking not engage, would that then count for not getting a attack opportunity for, um, you know, being in... Yeah, yeah, you know, that's fair enough. You can use your roguish abilities to squeeze by, deftly avoid... Queer you're running. Roll. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're running like a holes. queer who just dropped their heels, don't even lie. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of, like, Ember's cool abilities, they're not really cool, <laughs> Yeah. We're dancing through the forest. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, end of turn. Alright. Okay. Um Emrys, you're up. Oh boy, oh boy. Um Is Doric stuck too? No, dearest is though. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and misty step my way out of here. <laughs> Good idea. Where are you misty stepping to? Um, I have to go back the way I came because it's only like 30 feet. Alrighty. Good call. Uh, you are still gonna take acid damage at the start of your turn, though. Luckily, only two acid damage this time. Oh, wait, let me see. If I'm here. Yeah, I, uh... I think I'm gonna go there. Okay. Alright. That's your so bonus action? Um, it's a spell, so I think it's just an action. I think no. I think this is a bonus, bonus action. action. Yeah, uh, you right, take right. you take two acid damage. I don't know if you already took that. Nope, not yet. All right. Yeah. So take take two acid, and then you have your full action to do. 
so terrible. I'm really not being able to help you guys. <laughs> sometimes that, sometimes that's how it is. Sorry, this music is so distracting. I feel like a an animal from Animal Crossing is serenading, serenading me. <laughs> it's supposed to be distracting. Um, this is a stressful situation. Beautiful so, music. yeah, could I perhaps move a bonus action to an action? Um, what is what is your bonus action you're planning? Summon one of my tentacles. Sure, why not? Okay, let's say I was there. Yes, okay. You said I could see through. That means I can put the tentacle. You can indeed. Right here. Right there. Yippee! Yep. Alright. And then when it's summoned, it gets an automatic attack. A wind! Uh... Why is it impossible to read this? Okay. There's a 12 hit. Oh wait, no, I get my modifier. It's an 18 hit. 18 hits. Hell yeah. And then that is... Three cold damage. It's... And also, your your strength, your speed is reduced by ten feet. Okay, well, it's not planning on moving, and it does have resistance to cold damage, so it takes well, one cold damage. Oh no! It's better than nothing. Is that your turn? Um, yeah, I think it has to be my turn. Gonna shamble on after the. Uh... Actually, it's not gonna move. It's just gonna try and get Lawrence again. Slam I swear to God, if he eats me again. 15 to hit. Miss. 11 to hit. Also miss. Nice. These two appendages extend out, growing the plant matter. Um, you just slam and do, and immediately after hitting, they kind of wither and all the leaves fall off. Um, no effect. Doric, you're up. <laughs> Did you say me? Yep. Alright. Dearest is restrained, right? Grappled. Or grappled. Um, when I slashed at the vines holding Amrus, did it do anything? Did you slash at the vines? Yeah, I slashed at them with the... Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Word burst. Uh, they... It didn't free the vines, but it looked like they took a little damage. Hmm. Let me check one spell rule that I don't know why I didn't check. All right. And what does he have to do to escape them? Uh, athletics check or acrobatics check. All right. All right, then I know what I'm going to do then. For Doric's action, he is going to cast Enhance Ability on uh, Dearest. He is going to uh, take his hammer and uh, smack Dearest with it, who will <laughs> glow, and the uh, sort of spectral visage of a bull will appear as I give him both strength. Ooh, cool. And as a bonus action, I'll tell him. <laughs> Poison. Uh, to uh, get out of the plants. Right. And run down the other path. 
Let's see if he can get out. Athletics, please. Athletics. That is with advantage. Um, very good that I got advantage with that. Jesus. That is going to be 15. Just barely succeeds. You break free. All right. Uh, Lawrence, you're up next. I still have movement, right? Yep. And was it escaping like an action? Yes. All right. Uh, he will follow the command of running down the other path because this place is way too narrow. All right. Emrys, if Dork tried to like hold out his hand to Emrys, uh, would he grab on? Yeah. All right. We're, we're besties. <laughs> yes, I will. As Dearest uh, turns around to book it down the other path, Dork will hold out his hand to Emrys and uh, grab him onto Dearest's back, who will. <laughs> completely be able to hold both of us because yeah. he has full strength. That's Yippee! fun. You got uh, yeah. two little guys on Dor Dearest's shoulders. Yay! Alright, so where are, you guys, where are you guys running to now? Down, uh, this, path? down this path, yes. Alright, is Dearest trying to avoid the thorny vines here? Um, sure. You'll probably know that it's dangerous. Acrobatics check for me, please. Acrobatics, that is not... That bad. Is there any way we could give him advantage? No, unless you have magic that can do it. <clears throat> like uh, guidance or something. I have, my talisman gives me a charge that allows me to add a d4 to rules. It's a, on a physical necklace, so it's up to you as the DM whether I could share that. Uh, it would say... Uh, let's Pact of the Talisman. When the wear. Oh, I actually found out that. Yeah, wear. Yeah. Did you say that. No. I am. <laughs> that. No, dearest, he we're is have to be wearing me. Uh, okay, so it's just a flat uh, acrobatics? E yeah. Can I not argue with athletics? Um, sure, actually, yeah. You can do a athletics, but it will have a different outcome. All right. That will be... Uh, why is it not showing up on... Okay, that's weird. That will be... Uh, 19. 19 succeeds. How far can he go? Uh, he has a movement of 40 feet. So he can move 40 feet. Let's move him 40 feet in the direction you want. And as he just blows through all of the vines with his strength. She was a sort of charge forward like a bull would head first almost. Absolutely. He does take nine acid damage, but other than that, uh, move him where you want. All right. Right here. All right. Is that your turn? Uh, and actually, since he's getting kind of low, oh wait, never mind. That's an action. That's an end. Lawrence, you're up. Um, how's this guy looking? Um, not about half. A little more than half. We're gonna blight again. 
<laughs> All right. Make that a constitution save with disadvantage. Six. That's another 64 necrotic. Looks like it's on its last legs. Um, I have a bonus action. Oh, I'm going to action surge. All right. Um, I can't cast another leveled spell, right? Correct. So I'm going to Sacred Flame. That's a dex save. Hey, not good at dex. That's a 10. All right. He takes 16 Radiant. How do you want to do this? Ah. Yippee. Okay. Um, so basically, he gets like, or the plant vines kind of like shrivel up into like dry looking like twigs uh-huh. and then uh and then they get kind of like like a light like spreads through it and turns it all to ash again love that love that unfortunately you are still within danger as all around you you feel the forest coming alive might be a good idea to keep moving. Right. Uh, we need to get out of here, find shelter. There does appear to be a clearing just north of you. How peculiar. How peculiar. <laughs> a non-suspicious clearing. So crazy. Right, um, that looks like probably our only option right now. We should probably head there. Let's, let's do it, yes. I knew this is gonna nod his head and start heading that way. All right, all three of you begin to move this way, up here? Yep. All right. As we go through, there's, there's vines north of us, right? Indeed there are. I'm gonna try to slash through those with Spell Eater. Okay, uh, let's see. Give me an attack roll. 19. All right. Oh, I just realized, uh, we did your turn already. Um, okay, I'm just gonna say a new, since actually you guys are all in order in the initiative, what, Anubis, Ember, and Lawrence, what are you guys doing as you pass through these vines? Um, I'm still, I'm still like, you know, avoiding everything. Uh, oh, as we pass through like the vines. Yeah, right here. The spiky vines. Yep. I'm also trying to clear it away, like leading the way. I don't know if that's an option. Sure. Yeah, it is. Uh, so if you want to avoid after, if you want to follow after Lawrence Anubis, I'll give you advantage on your acrobatics check. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, Ember, what are you doing? Um, can I cast guidance on myself? I'm also going to try avoiding it. All right, acrobatics check from both you at advantage as Lawrence clears ahead with a... What was your attack roll? 19? 19. All right, uh, roll damage for me. Anubis, that succeeds. You you managed to... Ooh, I rolled very high. Um, 10 magical slashing. Right. I rolled a 22 acrobatics. Both of you follow in Lawrence's footsteps very deftly, avoiding any of the stray vines that are falling away from his blade. However, they are not happy at being lashed or slashed away, so they're going to keep attacking you, Lawrence, as you move your way through. They're going to make two attacks, a 17 to hit and a 26 to hit. Uh, 26 hit, 17 misses. All right, you're going to take uh, 13 uh, bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. So you've made it halfway through these vines. We're gonna move over to the other group now. What are you guys doing? Are you guys still blasting through on the back of Dearest? Yeah, I'm pro that. Alright. Dearest, give me another ac- uh, athletics or acrobatics check. Director muted. Whoops. Uh, athletics. Alrighty. 
Um, I will also tell uh, Dearest, by the way, prepare yourself. Hmm. So, after he runs. All right, athletics. That will be 17. Once again, busting through. And then for his healing. I'll let you move him, actually. Uh, that would be 13 healing. As he, uh, strands of magical energy ribbons start to just magically repair him the acid damage. Yippee. Yeah, so he's going to take um, six acid damage as he blasts through. All right. Let's see. I have 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. Made it over here. You're still surrounded by vines, uh, but you've made it out of the worst of it. I'm gonna have... Yeah, one of the vines is gonna reach out and... batter Dearest again. And Emrys. So 23 to hit Dearest. Yeah, that hits. Uh, and 13 to hit you, Doric. Sorry, not Emrys. The 13 does not hit me. Okay, so you're going to... Dearest will take... 18. Jeez. No. You can shred it. Oh, I should have been taking half damage for the... Save... Did you have me do saving throw for um to escape the vines? Uh, no, you teleported. Remember? Uh, no, the first time. Like whether I'd be grappled or not. No, no, it's automatic. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Uh, Lawrence, you're up. Um, I'm gonna oh. continue trying to slash through the vines. Yeah. All right, you are grappled. All right, give me an attack roll. I'm also going to first try to focus on the vines that are grappling me, like hoping that that'll make it easier to get the rest. Sure, sure. As you cut um, through the vines, you create a narrow passageway. However, the vines return very quickly. So you're not, it's not like you're permanently cutting them away. Mm -hmm. 17 hits, roll damage. Um, oh, four. Better than nothing. <clears throat> you're grappled, you're going to take acid damage. Eight acid damage. Okay. Is that your turn? Um, I think so. Alright, Anubis? Right. Yeah. What's, what are you doing? Um... I'm just going to start, like, pushing through, like, just try to, like, brute force, just start shoving my way through a little bit while being a little cautious, but, like, if slashing is making them react bad, but just brushing against them doesn't make it react bad, and I have resistance, I'm just brushing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you're not even trying to avoid or break through them or anything. You're just going to no, go. All the, right. the trouble seems worth more than uh, the pain that it receives. All yeah, right. I'm, so it's going to make down. this vine is going to make you're going to push forward. You'll say you can make it to the front. However, in doing so, you're going to 18 to hit. Oh, yeah. And 17 to hit. Oh, yeah. All right. So you're going to take a total of... 13 bludgeon damage. And you are grappled. Okie dokie. Ember, you're up. Oh, oh sorry. Dor I, uh, is that my turn? 
Yeah, it's still your turn, sorry. I didn't know if you were done. Oh, no, I still have action and a bonus action. Oh, go for yeah, it. Yeah, fuck this. Amber, I'm turning into though. a cloud. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, you're fuck turning it. gas I'm form crazy. into a cloud. There's another one. All right. So you turn into a cloud. Yeah, I'm tired of this shit. I'm just ready to get out of here. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, where is gaseous form. Where is Cloud Anubis going? Uh, I have a flying speed of 10 feet, so nowhere now. Wherever the wind takes her. Well, you're well, not grappled. You're not, my... you're not grappled anymore, yeah. so you can move 10 feet. I was worried I used up all my movement, and I'm like, no, I moved nowhere. All right, I will uh, just psh, drift all right. this way and <laughs> be like, keep going. <laughs> is it a pink cloud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it smells fakely of... Mushrooms. Yeah. I was right. gonna say weed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the dang, I'm a dank cloud. Ember delight. Become you're the up. dank cloud you hope to smoke. Yes. You're up. Okay. Use my movement to move up here. Are, Are you, you trying to avoid? Are you trying to avoid the vines? Yeah. Uh, acrobatics check for me, please. Yeah. 17. That succeeds. You definitely dodge out of the way of the vines. Is um, the thing, the, the plant thing in front of uh, the cabin itself, what is that? This is a massive, this is a massive vines. Uh, okay, I cast produce flames and I cast a firebolt directly at the middle of those vines. Oh, right. Wait, what if that burns the whole fucking forest down? That'd and the forest awesome. is gone. Easy yes, solemn. I have water magic, don't worry. Give me an yeah, attack roll. We'll be fine. Stop worrying. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the ecosystem of Carceri? Fuck the ecosystem. Climate change isn't real, down stuff. It's not real. Or doesn't believe in global warming. <laughs> doesn't believe in global warming. <laughs> okay, I have to roll to hit it, I guess. I think so, yeah. What's the AC of a mine? <laughs> Not high. And 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Perfect. Woof. 15 fire damage. Nice. Yeah. The, the funniest part is <laughs> I rolled really high on two of them. Then I got a one on one of the die. All right. <laughs> so we're going to have a little bit of a... A fire brewing here now. Tiny fire right... Oh, that's not the right color. There we go. Tiny little fire that's going to grow in size. Is that your turn? Yeah. Alright. Emrys. You're on the back of Dearest. So we'll actually have all three of you go at once. Doric and Emrys and Dearest. What are you guys doing? Oh boy. Um, I'm thinking we jump the vines. How tall are the vines? Not super so tall. Because I, they... I was thinking, what is Anubis? Not Anubis. Um, what's um, Dearest Strength? Dearest Strength is a 14 plus 2. Okay, so when you do, I was looking up how to do jumps in D&D, and it is... As long as you have a 10 foot running start, in theory, it's three feet plus the strength modifier. For a long so jump or I... a high jump? Well, how tall is the thing? It's... Oh, this does say high jump, actually. Yeah, there is a high jump. Uh, there, these, this mass of vines is about five feet tall. Oh, God. Okay. So Can I miss these at multiple people, or is it just me? It's just you. Straddle it. Damn, okay. You can jump into a feat equal to 3 plus your strength modifier. What's Dearest's strength modifier? Oh, I have an idea. Plus 2. Idea. Oh. He could, yeah, so he could... He could potentially make it over that if he jumps. Is the other option is I do have Feather Fall. And if you allow me to do gravity bullshit, 
he could technically jump farther. I'm listening. He falls lower. Gravity fall is not like anti gravity, unfortunately. It's more just like it keeps. It slows you f- your descent. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that would help him jump longer, but not higher. Yes, but if he jumps higher, the rate at which he will fall on the other side will allow him to fall farther because the effect of gravity will. Yeah, yeah, not I agree. Be I agree. Long. He would be able to jump longer. Like he would yes. be able. He would kind of so, float. He would g- kind of glide down. But like. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you do like a Princess Peach Smash yes, Bros. Absolutely. <laughs> I, w- I would he allow would Mary that. Mary Poppins umbrella glide. But it's not really necessary here because he can already jump over it with. Okay. Yeah. If so. anyone needs the help on their jump for the other party, I could do that. I think. Lawrence is a little bit stronger than Doric, so I, I think I should at least be able to make it myself. Because my strength is negative. I need I need Dearest to carry me. All right, so what are we doing? We're, we're still in combat, so think on your feet. Um, Dearest, Doric, Emrys, Jockey is my vote. <laughs> yes. All right. Agreed. We're jumping that thing. Dear, uh, dearest, <laughs> give me an athletics check. Hell yeah. Ooh, come on. That'll be 22. Damn, oh. all right. Does he kind of shift into like a quadrupedal run before jumping? Honestly, sure. he's... Uh, the way I'm flavoring enhanced abilities is that Doric is asking a spirit for help. So he's it's basically helping pilot Beerus. So yeah, gotcha. a bull spirit is sort of taking over the mechanical werewolf. Okay, yeah, so he runs up and leaps over the vine wall, landing Into beyond a it. Slide. Over over the, the the vine walls that is on fire, by the way. Oh yeah. You Akira slide your robot. <laughs> yes. Alright. Uh you guys are on the other side in relative safety now. Let's go. You guys got this. <clears throat> Lawrence. Do a new job. What are you doing? Wait, who? You, Lawrence. Okay. <laughs> um you, I'm gonna Lawrence. try to get the fuck out of this grapple. All right, athletics or acrobatics check for me, please. That's going to be an athletics. Oh, God. Um, Sorry. Yeah, 12. Not good enough. Well, Lawrence kind of struggles on the vine and then just kind of gives up. Uh, Resigned to his fate. Jump over. No, no, no. He's Lawrence is tr- is still grappled by these vines. He's still trying to break out. Aww. Anything else on your turn? Um, I don't think so. Right, There's Anubis. no other. Like, I can't like use a bonus action to try to escape, right? No, no. Anubis, we're going to go into a more loose uh, uh, initiative here. So, Anubis and Ember, what are you guys doing? I'm gassing, bro. Oh, right. You're made of gas. Yeah, you can just kind of float through the vine. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not even... No, I'm not even going through the vines, honestly. I'm going to go through the part that's not on fucking fire. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Ember, what you doing? I'm not messing with gravity and I'm not sure if the vine is on fire. Like, could I just jump through the fire and be through the vine? No, no, it's 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 slowly smoldering. Uh, you know, it is still live wood. It's not like, you know, dry kindling. So it's on fire. Um, it's expanding a little bit. You say maybe, you know, half of it's on fire, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use dash. I'm just gonna take a bit of a roundup and I'm just gonna leap over. Okay, what's your strength modifier? Uh, one. Okay. Plus one. All right, give me an acrobatics check. You got this, you got this. Sixteen. Sixteen. 
your normal jump height is four feet. So a 16 is just barely enough to get you over. Um, I will say you're able to jump on top of the vines and then are like on your way down. Well, first off, you're going to take some fire damage. Uh, how, how high is it? It's about five feet high. Okay, fair enough. Not too Frighteningly. high. You're going to take two fire damage, reduced to one because you're a fire ganasi. Yeah, but I wasn't scared of that one. It is going to manage to grab you on your way down, or it's going to attempt to grab you on your way down. So that's going to be a 22 to hit. Divine on it. So that hits. hits. Yeah, you're going to take si oof, 16 bludgeoning damage. As what happens is you leap. Vines are my worst enemy. You leap, you leap over the vines. And like, you know, just as you're clearing the top of it, you put your foot down to kind of get some extra leverage to jump off. And the vines instantly wrap around your foot, trip you, and you fall upside down, hanging by your foot on the other side of the wall. Help. <laughs> but, but he made it. Yippee. Help me. Emerus, uh, Doric, and Dearest, you're up. Um, uh, I'm going to give Dearest a smooch on the cheek and hop off. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, as a bonus action, tell Dearest to uh, grab Ember and get him to safety. And I'm gonna take out my hammer and uh, cast uh, blade, sword burst to cut the vines. All right. Okay. So, uh, Dearest, give me an athletics check, and Pat uh, Dora, give me a attack roll. Or is it a dex save? Yeah. It's a dex save. 17. Okay. I have a question when you have time, Spencer. I have an answer. Does the tentacle summon... Is it able to exert itself on the surroundings other than an attack? Um, I would say so. Not, not too much effort, but I think it can. Since it is a tentacle, can I use it to give Lawrence advantage on escaping? Why the hell not? Yay. By the way, that athletics check was a 23. Oh yeah, easy. Ember gets ripped from the vines. <laughs> Ungracefully. Uh, and the deck save was a 9. Oh yeah, that's gonna be... Uh... Wait, am I going the right dice? Nope, I'm not. That'll be... That'll be an uh, eight force damage. Right. Lawrence, you're up. I'm gonna try to get the hell out of this. Athletics, vines. athletics with advantage. You're being helped by the the uh, jellyfish tentacle from the deep. An average friendly <laughs> tentacle. Ooh, 25. 25, nice. You're no longer grappled, you break Ooh. free. Where are we running to? I'm gonna try to not even bother, like, using acrobatics to escape the vines, because I know I'm gonna be so bad at that. I'm just gonna, like, charge through them. All right, with that high of an athletics check, you instantly bat, you can easily bash through those vines. Um, use all of, use your movement how you please. All right. Thanks um, to uh, em Emrys's little friend. Of course. Of course. Pentacle. Um, okay. I have enough movement to get here. All right. And I have a 16 strength score. Is that enough to jump over this? What's the modifier? Plus three. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you'll still need to make an athletics check, but for, yeah, you feel pretty confident you can leap over this with a running jump. Let's see. Yes! 23. 23. Yeah, that's... Thud, 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 thud. Leap, and then crash down on the paved cobbles beyond it. Uh, you watch as Lawrence executes a near-perfect vault. 
of this, and then seeping through <laughs> is a pink <laughs> cloud of mist. Anubis. The and, bomb uh, rip. The bomb. <laughs> and with that, you guys feel relatively safe in uh, in this kind of area. The vines do not continue to uh, reach towards you. The fire does burn through the vines eventually, leaving a small charred opening in the vines before uh, burning itself out. So there is a small opening here that you can get through now. And congratulations on making it through the Crimson Forest. Yippee! Uh, Awful. Awful? What? No, I like that. That was fun. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Hell I lost so much fucking health. <laughs> Poor Dearest. Dearest got down to 18 health out of 52 hit. Holy shit. That was also after repair. So, uh, I'm gonna use... Your wounds level one on Ember real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can heal up as you wish. And uh, I think this is a good time for a little break. Um, Ember heal 12 HP. So yeah, let's do the oh healing first. Yeah, I'll, I'll cash in on the healing for you, Ember. I'll give you... I'm also hoping that we can take a short rest. Up to you guys. healing. Jesus, okay, I'm a lot better now. I'm always down for a little short rest. I never. So, I will say the building in front of you looks to be made out of a nice layered stone with a stone roof. There are some planted uh, red flowers and, and bushes and things around it. However, none of them look actively hostile. There is a nice big set of thick wooden doors in the front. No windows. Well, shall we go the polite route and knock? Or go the, um, where in the hell route and barge in? My vote is for barge. We do a median and go in with some grace. <laughs> Lockpick? Yeah. Make sure. Anubis, are you still in cloud form? How long does that last? I was going to say, am I able to seep through the door? Oh my god. <laughs> do you wish to? I do. How long does crazy. how long does cloud form last? Um, let me see here. Um, concentration for an hour. Okay. Then, with that, as Anubis prepares to seep through the door, uh, we will take our uh, our little break. What we'll a, be back what in. A we'll be back in five to ten minutes. Okie dokie. We're back. As I prepare to seep through the door like a Hellraiser, like you know, segment. Breezing past the party with the. Stent wafting through the air. Is everyone back? Yes. 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 Alrighty. It's Lawrence back? I think so. I'm here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> He's complaining. I, I just had no idea what you guys were talking about, so I just stayed quiet. <laughs> no, so, you're good. Anubis. You. I know. Can move yourself around the doorway and sneak inside. Now, when you're in your gaseous form, let me let me look this up. Is it gaseous form five e? <sighs> yeah, it's not nearly as descriptive as I would like. Considering how like, I mean, this is a pun, but how nebulous the idea of <laughs> it even is. <laughs> the target can pass through small holes, narrow openings, and mere cracks. Uh, the target can't fall or remains hovering. While in the form of a mystic cloud, the cart can't talk or manipulate objects. Can't attack or cast spells. I'm assuming you can still see, though. 
Right, like I was imagining, I still have to perceive my surroundings. Like I'm yeah. not just like, sense? I don't just turn oh, no. into, yeah, I don't just turn into gas and then like, oh, well, if a strong breeze comes my way, I'm <laughs> fucked. Like I, I will never rearrange again. <laughs> Maybe That's it's just a horror like a story. humanoid figure made out of gas. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I imagine I'm like a little cloudy, you know, a little cloudy boy. We'll say you have full management over your senses, so you can still see. So in that case, I'm going to bring you into the shadows channel, whispers, where... <gasps> I never get is. whispers these yeah. days. I'm excited. I think... All right. I've been drug. So... You go in past the doors, and inside, you float into a very well-lit and strangely cozy room. Uh, the center is kind of raised up off the ground with stairs around it, like kind of like a, um, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what the term is, a mesa, a plateau. Um, several lit brass braziers hang suspended on chains over various potted plants on that upper area, with even more potted plants surrounding the edges of the room. Um, in the very center on the ground on the, on the plateau looks to be an unlit brazier. Um, it is a circular-ish room, however, it looks to be polygonal. And because you don't know numbers, <laughs> you don't know how many sides. Yeah. Um, that's what you see. I, th and there's no beings, there's no... No beings, just another door on the opposite side. Okie dokie. I will, uh... I will seep my little self back out. <laughs> All right, we will be back into the table. Slid out. I slid out just in time. What? Oh, where it fucking it's so bad me. when you emphasize it like that. that it almost bit me, you guys. Out. It almost fucking got me. All right, you watch as Anubis the Cloud goes in, disappears for about you know, 10 seconds, and then slides right back out through the door cracks. This is such a um, poignant verb you guys have chosen. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, I will drop. I will drop the gas. I will cut the cheese. Uh, I will cut to the chase. I mean, I meant to say cut to the chase. And um, he'll say, uh, "Well, there's no one in there except a lot of, you know, metal fireplaces, and, you know, it seems very ceremonial in there." I recommend we be careful and not touch anything, and be careful of the fire. Okay. That was for me. I mean, it feels weird if there's a lot of fire. Isn't this like a wooden hut thing? No, it's made of stone. Oh, okay, then it makes sense. All right. Never mind. I retract my statement. You're like, what are we taking fuck? a short rest, by the way? I don't know. Are you? I would like to, but I feel like it would be better to rest inside this place than outside, right? God, yeah. I don't... I would I would raise some concern if I felt a threat. I feel no threat, unless we do a thing. Well, before okay. we go in, Dork is going to grab some samples for Nar this plane. Uh, what are you sampling? The ground? Uh, the ground... Uh, the grass? A very light amount of plants. Okay. Uh, how are you sampling it? I have Mage uh, Hand if you need. Mage Hand would be helpful. I just, I do have some, like, files and stuff. Yeah, as long as you're um, storing it proper, and I'm assuming Doric would be intelligent enough to not grab it by the handful. Uh, yeah, and if he's getting anything darker than grass, he's going to have dearest watch and ready to strike out at anything. No. Yeah. However, nothing like that happens and you secure some samples of uh, the grass and some foliage. Awesome. Great. Do you guys enter? 
I do. Yeah, I mean, if Anubis didn't see anything too suspicious, I'm good. Shall we try to see? Uh, I mean, should we just open the door, see if it's locked or unlocked? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going. I'm going straight for the handle. <clears throat> Don't have speak permissions. What? <laughs> so apparently, the music bot that we were using only lets you play five songs per day. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> songs That's I added. Insane. This feat source is feature locked due to its high usage. This is insane. I hate this. That's... <laughs> Why is it always All right, so, everyone. so like, hard to get? Here's all of us. Uh, yeah, so I will just, I'm gonna mute this, and I will send the link to the music that I want to play, and you can play it on your own if you want. <laughs> I see. Uh, yeah. There you go. I'll just play it in a, play I'm so it sorry, Vesting. Alright, we're disconnecting the Discord bot. I swear, we're just gonna have to set up, like, a, a watch together se uh, That's session. That's what I used. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait, that last time. Yeah, I used that during Mass Effect. I wondered if I wonder if a Discord update fucked it up since all of them seem to be. It yeah, very well could have. Okay, so everyone has ambient, weird, freaky music. If you oh, would like, it's a little of loud. Course. From my, yeah, sorry, my, I just got scared. One of my favorite games. So you guys enter in, and as you crack open the door, <laughs> you step into a very well lit and strangely cozy room. The center is raised up. Uh, with stairs on all sides, like a... What was the word plateau. I used? A plateau? Thank plateau. you. Plateau. Several lit brass braziers hang suspended on chains over various potted plants on the upper section. And in the very center, on the ground, looks to be an unlit brazier. There is the room. This oh is boy. It. Oh, and the other detail I got was that it was polygonal, but then we figured I can't count, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> what? What do you not know how to count? I, I'm, I'm illiterate to an extent. <laughs> yeah, you know how to read a little not bit. What that I feel means. like learning numbers is pretty important. Listen, it, it like after five, to it just starts getting difficult. It's not, it's not he, can, he can count, he just doesn't know the numbers. Like Yeah, and no. I also don't know what kind of polygon it is. Okay, not knowing the polygon makes sense, but That's the not being able to count thing was crazy. Yeah, not that he can't go like one, two, three, four, five, but like he's not going to look at the numbers and then make an educated like Ah oh, yes, we are also, standing in an anagram. It probably wasn't mm. important for him. <laughs> no. But here what you are. are. Talking ah, about? Fire. Here you are okay. in this room. Here we are in this room. It's it's not time. Are you guys taking a short rest in this room? Yeah. Uh, if not? there's no immediate threat, I feel like this is the best time. Doesn't Let's appear. survey the room to make sure there's nothing hiding in here. I want little guys to come tickle my feet while we take our nap. There doesn't. Ew. There doesn't what? appear no. to be any uh, threat. What about the door and the find of the? Do you do you wish to look at the door over there? It looks to be identical to the one you just yeah. came from. I want to look if it's locked, stuff it, like that. It does appear to be locked. How well locked? Uh, make an investigation check. Go. Pick it. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna be the. Can I make an investigation check with my thieves tools? <laughs> there is, there's no, there's no lockpick hole. Okay, okay. Aww. <laughs> Can I investigate with my crime tool? <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, it looks pretty solidly locked. Uh, it doesn't move around at all when you try and push on it. It's pretty impossible to even get around it. Unlike the door you came through, this one has no cracks. I can assume it's gonna be a weird puzzle thing like before. Oh, oh, who knows? I mean, it could be really anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> All I know you is this puzzle is about us. 
Jesus. All right, short rest, everyone. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. When we're doing our short rest, I would like to just commune with nature for this realm of Carceria. I was just waiting until everyone got together before I started a ritual. Oh, and yeah. Doric yeah. is gonna start repairing, uh, or augmenting, dearest. I would also like to, if we have any vials of water, if that's an option to use ceremony um, yeah. to turn it into holy water. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Do what you do what you wish. Let me know what you're uh, doing. Also, for ceremony, it says it uses twenty five gold worth of powdered silver. I don't have that, but can I just use twenty five gold? Um, I'd say you probably do have that. Um, that might I be have some silvering materials. Yeah, yeah, you probably do have that. Just because you're a cleric, and since I assume Lawrence has been thinking about doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you go for it. You have those materials. Cool. Uh, I'm going to take 25 gold then. All right. Uh, DM, I sent you a list of what I need from my commune with nature spells so that we can keep track of it. You got it. I'll give you those answers after the short rest. Yes, I will also give you the radius. Uh, I'm oh, also going to hand the holy water, I guess, to Doric. All right. I don't know. Who would be the best to hold on to this? I do already have a flask of water. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to give it to Emrys then. How? Okay. Emrys, you get one holding water. Lawrence, how long does it take to do ceremony? Um, The spell itself takes one hour, but I think we add, like, what, ten minutes if it's a ritual? Yeah. Yep. So one hour, ten minutes. And Anubis, how long does it take to do commune with nature? Me with nature, I need to go outside for 10 minutes, and then for three miles around me, I know what's up. Okay. Um, I think you only I'm get- I'm just gonna go potty. <laughs> you only get three of those <laughs> options, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So yeah, mark which ones you want me to give you. And when you've finished that, and you come back, and you watch Lawrence doing his ritual, you feel anger towards him, and you can't quite place it why. <clears throat> Oh, I, I already was role play anger towards him earlier, but I didn't, haven't got a chance to get it out yet. But yeah. <laughs> uh, I've seen this before, Spencer. You've seen what before? The symbols. I don't know. You took this from a video game, didn't you? I don't know. <laughs> I think a couple of them seem very story. familiar. <laughs> Okay, I have denoted which information I want, Sounds and good. Uh, ever since the first happenstance with the plants, uh, Anub or ever since you used blight, Anubis has been like side eyeing you, Lawrence. <laughs> but uh, I will continue with this new role play of anger too. Okay. Power celestial, powerful celestial's fey fiends, <clears throat> elementals are undead. Um, how far does this go? One mile? Three miles. Three miles. You get the sense of one very powerful fiend. Um, very, very far away, nearly at the edge of your radius. Um, about north-ish. Uh, but don't get any other pings from powerful other other powerful entities. Influence from other planes of existence. <clears throat> Nothing. No other planes are intruding on this level of Carceri. Except for us. Except yeah. for us, kind of. Yeah. And buildings. Uh, this is the closest building. Obviously, you're in it. And <clears throat> in the same area as the powerful fiend, there is another building far away. Okay, sick. I definitely marked the wrong one, but I live with my... The past is now the past. Oh. Yep. I was like, 
Influence from other planes, who cares about that? I'm like, oh, <laughs> apparently I do. <laughs> hey, sometimes new no. spells and powerful magics are, uh, they work in strange, unintended ways sometimes. Yeah. All right, I'm walking in, I'll, I'm, I'm cooking a sideways glance. Fucker. Everyone has finished their short rest, regained their, um, their health and any spell slots for you, Emrys, from your warlock? Yes, let me figure out what that is. It should automatically do it. Let me see. If you use the little short rest button at the top. Okay. All good. All right. Well, we don't take short rests very often. I've never used a hit die, really. Yeah. When everyone is ready, the world is yours again. Hey. And I'm going to use my magic eye to cast Detect Magic. Okay. Just kind of <laughs> look around the room a little bit, look for stuff. Yeah. As you peer around with your special eye, you notice all of the braziers are enchanted with evocation magic. Um, let me actually, let me make sure. Yep, evocation magic. The center one is also enchanted with necromancy magic. Can I then again use the eye to cast Identify on the center thingy? You can keep track of how many charges you have on your eye. Yep, I um, am. Now I am. That's all you must identify. I am. Ide the Identify spell doesn't really... Yeah, does it work here? Because it's technically item, I guess. It's not an item. <laughs> um, yeah. It's up to you if you if Ember would know that already and ref and cast it or not. I mean, I want to say <laughs> no, but I want to say yes, but nah, he, he probably wasted on it. It's fine. Okay. Uh, it, you too. don't get much information other than this brazier. Um, there's something special about it, and it looks to be the most powerful uh, thing in this room. And as you're investigating it, inside of it looks strange. You can't place your finger on it until you remove the magical gaze from your eye and start lo just look at it with your normal vision. Inside of the unlit brazier is the unmoving body of a cat laying on top of charcoal. The body appears burnt and charred and there looks to be something underneath its paw, some sort of small rectangular object. I relay this information to the others. I could use Mage Hand to get it, if you don't want to touch it. Yeah, yeah, use Mage Hand. We need to stop touching stuff. <laughs> 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 touching things is the killer. <laughs> You, yeah. with, you withdraw the item from underneath the cat's paw, and it looks to be a small leather pouch, maybe about three by four inches in, di in uh, dimensions. Okay. Is there anything in the pouch? You, you open the pouch? With mage hand. Okay. <laughs> Inside the pouch, <clears throat> you open it up, the little... Um, clasp comes undone the top folds open and inside is the pouch is what looks like a deck of cards on the interior side of the the uh the clasp there are four lines of complete gibberish and i will paste it in the chat Oh. Well, oh. We just lost Nat for some reason. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back. 
<laughs> Someone clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, my bad. I clicked the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. There you go. What the fuck? Okay, why would you write that in perfect Danish? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say about my mom? What the hell, dude? Oh, is... Is this a script? Are you are you an asshole and you just type this? Yes, <laughs> All right, let me pull up the codex. I was like, yeah, do we have to stop decrypting this shit? I'll work on it, y'all. Oh, let me look, let me look. I've given up on wherever he got these letters from, even though I've seen them before. That? Maybe it's also, maybe it's the thing where you have to take the letter in the alphabet that comes before. I don't know what that's called. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like a sh- I knew it. cipher. Fuck you, Spencer. No I found Googling, by the way. I'm Googling the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what this is from, Spencer. I've realized it. I won't say anything. Um. All right. Can we observe the uh, the sigils around the uh, the room? You can indeed. Do these mean anything? I don't know. What languages do you speak? Um. I speak common, no mission, Sylvan. Nothing to you. Can I also try to give it a look? What languages do you I speak? I speak um, a little bit of Nolish, um, Common Orc, and Primordial. Nothing to you. I speak Thieves Cant. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to you? No. Okay. I have Dark Vision. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just for everything. I, I can do. turn into a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. a Zippo lighter in my pocket. <laughs> Moss, I see you type them. What you doing? I'm figuring out your stupid goddamn code. Oh, are you now? Also, <laughs> yeah. Also, I won't. <clears throat> I won't say what I've figured out the symbols are. But fuck you, patron, for playing double agent. <laughs> I, I I was just letting you figure it out yourself. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, he asked me for a tiny bit of help in uh, making matters. No meta knowledge. If you know what these symbols actually mean, you can't use them. I don't know what they mean. I just know what game they're from. I know what one of them means. (laughs) (laughs) I am so beyond lost. It's not even funny. Me too. Nothing makes any sense to me whatsoever. The the symbols look familiar to me. I think I know what. They're from a very popular video game. Okay, then then I'm right. What they're from? Then okay, I'm correct. I know what two of these are. (laughs) Top my head. Do any of you have comprehend languages? No. I think I might actually. Let me look. Is that a wizard cantrip? No, it's a first or second level spell. <laughs> Is anyone else doing any other investigation? Um, these are just braziers around the yep. center. Yep. What the cat doing? I want to investigate the cat. Can I make yeah, a medicine is, check on the cat? cat this yeah. looks like some sort of like dark ritual of some sort. Is yeah, there what? any sort of <laughs> magic <laughs> ritual I can identify? Uh. Th- th- Make an Arcana check, I guess? And Anubis, are you trying to figure out how it died, or...? Like, what's the state of decay, you know? I'm I'm trying sure. to... I'm dabbling in necromancy Medicine. a little bit. I'm just trying to check. Medicine. 17, by the way. Medicine check for me, please. Doric, there are no runes or sigils or anything uh, that would indicate what kind of magic is going on here. So someone just burnt a cat? That's quite terrible. And I'm going to deal with another cat. <laughs> You're going to burn Tasha. I'm going to burn her. Burn spells and incantations. 
Anubis, what was your medicine check? <clears throat> 21. 21? This cat is burned, definitely. Looks like it could have easily died by fire. However, no sign of decay on it. So is it fresh? Doesn't look fresh. Or has it just been preserved? Okay. Doesn't look fresh. There's no smoke. There's not really any smell to it. Um, and there's no body parts missing. It's just completely burnt. Hmm. What if I... <laughs> what if you he haw he haw he haw? I'm going to cast Gentle Repose on the cat. Okay. I just don't want it to freak out and become undead without my permission. Okay. You and do that's so. all. I'll be doing that for a little bit. Right. What is everyone else doing? Is this truly gibberish? I don't know. I'm gonna go touch one. I'm gonna go touch this sigil up here. Okay. I'm gonna go touch the fire. Uh, I'd also. Has anybody checked out the flowers around the room yet? I don't think so. I'm gonna investigate one. Give me a nature check or investigation check. <laughs> and, uh, Ember, you're touching the sigil? Yeah. yeah. Looks like it's just, um,. Just kind of stained into the wood. It doesn't look like it's magic or anything. Okay. <sighs> Can I roll like a history check on it? See if I recognize some of it or whatever. Um, you know what? Go ahead. Yeah. Seventeen. 17. They're familiar. You've seen them before okay. recently, but you can't quite put your finger on it. Damn, you it's like in real life. Are you see, or you've seen something that kind of reminds you of it? This script? Um, it might come to you in a little bit of time. The worst part is now it's a mix of my real life recollection of I know where it's from in real life. I put them down. <laughs> I don't remember what I know from the game. In, in this game. Um, Natalie, do you know what game it is? I have no idea. It's Skyrim. Yeah. Elder yeah, Scrolls. Oh, Skyrim is Skyrim. one of the games. Where, where, where? Yeah, I where, went to the one symbol I know what is, but I'm not gonna... <laughs> Isn't that one Dragon? No, it's... Uh, I, I don't know. I should, I, I'm not gonna say it, because it might actually it win? Know, mean something. Oh. You no, know, as you're as you're discussing this okay, strange the game of the Elder Scrolls, which you've never heard of in Espa, <laughs> it kind of comes to you that you've seen these symbols in Nar's office. <clears throat> they are, the they are, they remind a you a bit of I Infernal. Oh, attractor, and and what's speak Infernal? Um. No? <laughs> Do you not? I mean, I'm trying to think of all the- Why would I speak Infernal? Don't be I racist. don't know, I'm, I'm get- Whoa! <laughs> I'm just guessing. I'm just made of fire, I'm not a demon. Literally no one said that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I- I did it by asking if I spoke Infernal. Well, you That's were asking everyone question. else first. I know a, a solid amount of a language that's based around Abyssal. Not the same, unfortunately. I know, yeah, but it's it, it's a fair question. Yeah. <laughs> also, my investigation was a three. Nope. The plants look normal. Uh, you have a okay. ring of infernal letters. I have a question, DM. Yeah. yeah. Do the flowers, how they are presented right now in the map I'm looking at, matter? Make an investigation check. A 
Okay, well... That was not the question. <laughs> Damn! A 15. Mm, they don't look like they have any importance. Okay. Bro really made me roll for a meta question. Well, you googled it first thing, so we gotta slap back a little bit, you know? <laughs> hmm? I said, you googled the script first thing, so we gotta slap back a little bit, you know? <laughs> I didn't google it. Oh. I thought you were like, I know what this is from, and looked it up. I googled it. You got it, you got it. Well, the first symbol is like everywhere on the game, so it just took me a while yeah, to figure out what it is. Is that the Oblivion one? Where no, it is not. Is the, one from Oblivion? the one that, the symbol that you're thinking of is an old. It I has thought a it was... dot. It has a dot I in the center. It... That is not the symbol you're thinking of. I thought it was the um, script from the Alien movies. Oh, was wrong. Okay, it's repeating in two spots. It's also it's... missing in one spot. Spencer, can oh, I go to missing... the spot? It's missing where the door is, so I don't think that's a... Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. Unless they want no, us to... No, it's not missing a, at the south door. That's true. That's true. Well, that's, that's the that thing. door we is unlocked. We have to complete the pattern. Yeah, there's one per each side. Yeah. There's... And then the flowers match with the torches. And then you had a deck of cards that came with the script, right? Is that what I understood? How many cards were in that? Did you have you did you draw the cards? I don't think we did. No, I'm mortally terrified of the cards. Okay, why, well, why are you terrified of the cards? That's a piece of I the puzzle. I know, <laughs> yeah, I know a little magic item in D and D that makes every single deck of cards terrifying to me. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. But does Ember really know about that? Many things. He's yeah, got the deck of many things trauma. Yeah, I'm just sick of this campaign, so I just threw the deck of many things at you to ruin it. <laughs> no, Listen, <laughs> Ember, I'll draw the card. Somebody I'll draw the card. Someone's got to. Go for it. I'll draw it. I'll draw it. Yeah. Are, are you drawing a card? Yes. Right. You draw the nine of clubs. Oh. It's okay. I want to draw another one. <laughs> right. Draw the six of hearts. A little bit better. I'm drawing another one. All right. The ten of clubs. Can I shuffle through until I find the ace of spades? Sure. Absolutely. You can draw all the cards, put them on the ground, <laughs> and pick out the ace of spades. So you have a full deck of cards plus two jokers. Yippee, I win! As you examine the cards, the face cards are all cats, and the two jokers are dogs. Oh, silly. Okay. As in, like, is the dog is the dog wearing a little just the costume on the card? Oh, of course. Amazing. Uh, silly. Suddenly, the, this death realm doesn't seem so bad anymore. The fiends here have good taste. <laughs> Wait, it's just like a human, like a regular dog? What? We have. It's just like a regular dog? Yeah, it's just a regular dog in a jester costume. I don't know what that's funny to me. But they're kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of like medieval style dogs where they're like on their yeah. hind legs. It It's sort of reminiscent of. What is it like? Like the painting of like a group of dogs gambling around a table. Oh God! I know what you're sure. about. We have to what find if out we if remove the cat from the brazier. If cats are a theme, can you try that? Does anyone object? Sure, I don't no. mind. Okay, I pick up the dead cat. Okay, it hangs limply in your hands. And I'm gonna go put it where the blank spot is. Okay. You put the cat down. And then, yeah, I'm gonna put the cat down. He's gonna nod as if that was like, mm hmm, I did it. And as you do, 
place the cat, cat down in the blank spot. All of the runes glow to life in a blinding flash. And as they subside, the runes have shifted into a different language. Oh. Uh, perfect. This one... Did anyone read this? <laughs> this one of something that Lawrence does read. It is Abyssal. I speak it, but I just can't read it. Yeah. And I... I read... If it helps, I can speak most common words in Nolish Abyssal and about two-thirds of non-rare... Wait. Numbers, oh, wait, yeah, no. yeah, numbers in Abyssal are the same in the Nolish dialect as in the number. standard dialect. Yippee! So I will uh, give you what you know. Give me one second. I am DMing it to you now. Where the hell are our DMs right now? <laughs> nice. Wait a minute. These are numbers. I mean, wait a minute. These are letters. Yeah, sorry. I meant I meant the letter, the 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 lettering, the alphabet yeah. between di the dialects are the same. I'm going to go around and tell the party which letters each of these are. Um, I think I... Hang on. Let me see if I can get, like, a screen or something. Okay. You can just write on the map. Um, okay. So the one in the top right is... Where are you? <laughs> These are so hard to read. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I mean, that this is what is Lawrence. The letter N. <laughs> this is what Lawrence is seeing. He's like, oh shit, I should have studied harder. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's it, it's been like five years since I've read this language. Whatever. Um, yeah, this this was like the military you. training that you had. Yeah. So, all right. So this one is the letter N. This one, let's see, that's the letter I. This is another N that is, what are you? Thank you, I was just writing out a sheet of paper, but that's actually smarter. Oh, you are the letter E. If the next one's an S, I'm gonna lose my shit. It is not an S. Okay, good. I'm it's like, it's slightly. What? Oh, uh, I'm forgetting. No, what letter I'm, are you? I know what the T? S looks like. It is not. Oh, that. it's a B. That one's a B. And then this one is. Hey now. <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> what? What, 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 what do you mean? Is that an A? No, no, that's not an A, right? Oh, it's not? No. Wait. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. We could have uh, called um, Patron a fake fan. <laughs> this. Oh, yeah, fake the, fan. The next one is a C, and then after that is. A U, then an N, then a. A K. Hey, now. Okay, now I'm back. Wait, but that seems like a lot of the letters that were in the coded message. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's each the letters. Nine back. Reverse to nine back. back. Yeah, I was like, it can't be just one back because there's too many okay. like X's and W's and shit like that. I but do have, have the there. alphabet written on my... Do you want this one, Moss? I mean, we could all... We could both do it and see who does it faster, but I'm gonna do oh, an entire you. codex. <laughs> I, I, puzzles are different for me. I like I'm not codes. good at ciphers. Yeah, I'm good time. Thank you. Um, I full-on cannot, like, visualize. Easy, 
Yeah, Way past midnight for me. You can't expect me to do letters. <laughs> no, I'm back. Okay, I don't know how to. I can barely it. expect you to do simple addition. <laughs> I can't. One, I can't do two, that before three. midnight. I have to. Come on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So. Are you getting a B or an A for the first one? Huh? Like for the J, the first. Like the well, first I have to put it. Of this type. Um, I would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It'd be A. Okay. If you list out what letters you have, I can tell you what it corresponds to. Okay, so I've got J is A, B mm -hmm. is S, V, P. One more time. Oh, wait, uh, N. I gotta do like fucking radio codes. Are you saying <laughs> N, N as in nickel? M as in monster. Okay. And as you say the word monster, a monster appears. Oh, <laughs> um, is you? Uh, two L's. Yeah, I figured. Okay, what's a what's an L? Uh, C. And then what's a D? A U. If you want, I can read you the letters now that I'm looking at it. Give it. So next is R. Then I, then O, then U, then, then S. S, F, R, I, E, E N D. Yeah, E N D. Hey now. We're almost there. No, we're not. That's the first line of four. Here. Somebody else, Somebody pick a line. I'm going to take a screenshot of the codex I made. <laughs> I was excited. I was going to do it line, just release it line by line. <laughs> well, you could pick the second line. I'll do the third, and maybe Patron can do oh, the yeah. fourth. Give me the... Give me the thing. Okay. Take eight minutes. I hope we actually write about this and we just hadn't wasted a bunch of time. <laughs> well, I mean, it's making words. <laughs> it's, I feel like this is a lot for an accident. That'd be hilarious. You guys got a decoding? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, I'm Good. doing the Good. third line if someone wants to pick up the fourth. Is anybody um is anybody working on the fourth line right now? Negative. Not me. I will start working on that then. Oh yeah. My brain is not. Okay, working. I have the third done. Yeah, no same. <laughs> I'm not gonna be helpful. I'm still on the first word because my, my the picture is orientated to the right, so I'm no, typing it on my good, phone. No, you're good. You're good. It's so funny. I look like a crazy person. Um, it'll be a fun recording for Yonka to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> like anyone. Uh. For audio listeners, I have written up a fucked up codex and taken the picture <laughs> in the wrong orientation. <laughs> so everyone on Discord has to crane their head 90 degrees to read it. I mean, this is, let, let's be real. This is what would happen in real life because it would be oriented yeah, properly yeah, for Emrys and everyone else would be circled around him. <laughs> yeah, uh, dear listeners, this is what you need to imagine. Emma sitting on the floor, the rest of the party hunched over, looking at note <laughs> the notebook. 
<laughs> Which would probably be a comedically small notebook for a human. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait, I'm going to turn on my has camera. To crouch. Anubis That's... is on the ground. This is what I'm writing in. This is the correct reference to a human notebook to tiny Emrys. Yeah, so it's like half the size. Very realistic. Sorry, I am struggling. Do you want me to do it? Okay, so I've got so far with steps ever and then BX with F steps ever so. I'm going to say it's light. No, it starts with the Yeah, w. it's definitely light. Isn't it? No. It starts with the W. U is, a, U is an L. Oh, I keep looking at the wrong line. It's light. Steps ever so light. I'll delete my earlier ones so that they can be in order. An escape room. Yes. I killed escape rooms. I think this is the kind of surprising way I do again. escape rooms. I just push on walls and hope something happens. Yeah, how many, <laughs> how many escape rooms have had a dead burned cat in, the <laughs> in it? <laughs> Listen, I did an escape room with a live scare actor in it. Damn. All right. Oh, fun. It was great. It was supposedly um, Florida's most difficult escape room with an escape rate of like 5%. <laughs> did you escape? We did. We needed an extension of five minutes, but they let it count. That's, oh. that's what we did. Yeah, because yeah. some of the uh, props were not working. It's number uh... one for night. They gave us like 10 extra minutes. A small curious friend <laughs> steps ever so light when curiousness wins its numbered lives. Ignite. So clearly this puzzle was made for me. <laughs> A little guy. A little guy with A little tons guy. of curiosity and several lives. Get in Wait, the fire. The curiousness is referencing killing the cat, right? The you phrase. So. You have to kill the cat. We have to sacrifice Emrys, you guys. Hey, Wait, oh, it goes curiosity killed the, rest the, curiosity the cat. Killed the cat, but satisfaction brought, brought it back. back. Satisfaction brought it back. Satisfaction brought it back. Yes. Oh, I'm oh, guessing. Am I am to... I cock blocking this whole puzzle because of my <laughs> because of my uh, gentle uh, gentle repose? Is. Uh... What do you mean? Does, I'm I'm stopping it from becoming undead. Does it need to like revivify? Like, does it need to revive now that we've placed it somewhere? Because we we took the I took the corpse and placed it where the other rune should be, and then nine back came back, and now the the riddle reads. Uh, I'm guessing that we need to burn the nine card. Oh, we have several different approaches. We've got burn the nine card, revive the cat, un take off. I could, I will stop casting. I will take off gentle repose and like. A small curious friend steps ever so light. Curious as winds, it's numbered lives ignite. <laughs> so, what would it be curious about? Is it the. F it wouldn't be the fire. The flowers, maybe. maybe there are nine flowers. About where it was sitting in the center. There are nine flowers and, and nine put them in the fire and and you and you light them up. Nine lives ignite. It does say when curiousness wins. Let's be curious. Let's light up these flowers. Let's smoke some pot. <laughs> I'm going gassy again. Uh. <laughs> Mom, get the camera. We're hotboxing the puzzle room. Let's go. <laughs> is it a dead cat or is it just a, a thing of a cat? <laughs> it's a dead cat. I mean, my 21 medicine check revealed it to be a dead charred cat. That's crazy. You're crazy. Can you bring it back to life? 
I didn't bring it back to life, but I stopped gentle repose. So if something was to trigger it to bring it back yeah, to life, it, it can. Yeah, like a little thing of necro ne necromantic magic. So I was gonna say if thing... you can, if you could bring back a human man, could we not bring back the cat? But that's like uh, really precious resource. That's, that's I true. can't just because it's not humanoid. Okay, we do have a deck of cards with numbers on them. That's true. So, so what if it's numbered lives ignite? So, and cat is burnt. So I think that we need to take a, a nine card, the number of lives a cat has, and burn it. Do it. Maybe just yeah. set it on fire in the center. Let's do it. I, I got this. I got fire. <laughs> Produce right. that flame. <laughs> Take I, I, a dork. Yeah. yeah, dork will like toss it into the center. Sorry, and which card are you three throwing three in? Uh, nine. Which nine? All we should do nine nines. of hearts. Wait, wouldn't the club be like a cat's foot? I think oh. put in all four nines. Honestly, I say dump Let's the do whole deck of cards in there. <laughs> <laughs> that way we get the card we need, and there would make no sense for there to be a penalty. Yeah, that's not test uh, bait. This the whole puzzle is curiosity. <laughs> a curiosity killed the cat. Satisfaction brought it back and opened the door and lit the final brazier. <laughs> I forgot that part of the saying. Yeah, it's the cool DM's thing, satisfaction. Yeah. Okay, All right. we can start with nine, and if it doesn't work, yeah. we can do the other nines, and then if that doesn't work, I vote all of them. Put the, just put the first card in, and then we take it from there. Yeah. Let's do the heart, because it hearts represent life. Do it. All right, tossing in the nine of hearts. I'm burning it. Okay. <laughs> As you toss the nine of hearts into the brazier and Ember flings a fireball or a firebolt at it, produce flame, it flares with a black flame, shoots over to the cat, and it moves just a little bit. Twitches. A little bit. And then falls. Let's burn the rest of them. Give me another card. All the cards, all the cards. Oh, give me just one more. We want to test the, this. We're going to toss the rest of the nines in there. Good yeah. call. Scientific method. Emerson, what if it's please. cards? Oh, there's no one card. What if it's the ace through the nine? Like it's second life, it's third life. Well, let's throw in the nines. Does anything happen? You throw in the nines. Do you ignite them? Yes, burn. Okay. As the so as the nine of hearts finishes burning and the cat twitches and then stays still, nothing is left in the brazier. The fire goes out. You toss the the rest of the three nines in there. You light the fire, and instead of a nice black flame, an explosion happens. And sitting in the brazier. Wait a second. Oh. Is now a ghost cat, large saber tooth, and immediately attacks Ember. Oh, wow. Jesus. So it's definitely the hearts. <laughs> Can I have everyone roll initiative? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Ah, 13. Oh, one. Uh. Not that powerful. Dirty twenty. No, not bad. Nineteen. All right. Anubis was yours. Twenty. All right. <clears throat> so then. Anubis, you go first. Okie dokie. Well, this is just all kinds of fucked up now, isn't it? 
Um... <laughs> I... I should... Sorry, Emrys, what was yours? 19? And Doric was 20. Okay. Sorry, yes, sir. I do not really know what to do here. Um... I think it's safe to say once we kill it, it'll probably let us in. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast Moonbeam on the bra over the brazier and just pillar of light over it. Okay. Yeah, she hasn't killed the uh, cat, but so did the Moonbeam. <laughs> Is this... I'll do a con save throw, please. You got it. 14. Mish. And you take uh, it. It takes. Oh my God! I rolled double Whoa. perfect damage. <laughs> Damn. Twenty All right. radiant. All right. Highest damage. Let's go. Is that your turn? Um. That is my turn. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Just back up a little bit. Alrighty, Doric, you're up. All right. Uh, well, uh, damn, I wish I had more damaging spells. Um, Doric will cast Sword Burst. That's right. a Dex 17 save. Nine. Awesome. That will be. Uh, ten force damage. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to use a bonus act to tell Dearest to kick its ass. <laughs> force empowered rend. <laughs> Eighteen to hit. Eighteen hits. That will be oh max damage. That'll be twelve force damage. All right. Emrys, you're up. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna move here. Is this flanking it? Like, am I within melee? Uh, you'd have to move, like, right here. Let go. Oh. There you go. Ah! Okay. I'm gonna do what I normally do. Um, I have advantage on throws because we're flanking, right? You have an advantage on attacks, yeah. Okay. Uh, first one is a 20. 20 hits. And that's going to be six piercing damage from the crossbow. All right. Sneak attack. Uh, I have another action. Oh, okay. That's going to be 20 to hit for the rapier. That hits. Uh, 10 piercing damage. All right. Now we do sneak attack. Uh, 14 damage. Wait. It looks resistant to your attacks. No. Your physical attacks. Ember, you're up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pouncing at me? Yeah. Mid pounce. Okay. I'm gonna cast Vicious Mockery <laughs> as a wizard saving throw of 15. All right. 15. Meets it, beats it. What about no? <laughs> let's let's remake that rule. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, no. a bo right. Bonus action disengage, I guess. All right. Just gonna, gonna run. You run away. And uh, it's yeah. going to turn its wrath towards the one who put the cards in. Doric. Well. 
25 to hit, and 17 yeah. to hit. Yeah, those both hit. All right. So well, gonna... actually, uh, uh, disadvantage. Oh, dearest. On on just one, right? Or on both of them? Um, the defender imposes disadvantage on the attack roll of one creature. Okay, so that's going to be a 17 and a 25. Damn it. Yeah, that still fits. All right, so you're going to take a total of... <laughs> no! Uh... I'm going to get a calculator out. Oh, no. 42 necrotic damage. Jesus Christ! Oh, God! Your health, wow. your health is reduced by uh, that amount as well. Your maximum health. Holy shit! Well, I'm glad we did the short rest... Before I came in here. Lawrence, you're up. Holy shit. Um, okay. I'm going Does to... the cat already have a turn? That was the cat's turn, I thought. Oh, did it start its turn there and do the moonbeam? Oh. I was away from my computer when that happened, I'm sorry. My bad, yeah, you're right. So that's a con save again, right? <laughs> yeah. Ten fails. How much damage? Oh, baby! <laughs> Not nearly as good. Ten radiant. Uh, half as good, actually. Ten radiant. Looking pretty bad still. Lawrence, you're up. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, now. Um, it, you said it's looking pretty bad. It is. Yo, this motherfucker. I'm gonna use level two guiding bolts. All right. That's going to be... 18 to hit. 18 hits. So that's going to be plus 26. 13 plus 5, 18 radiant damage. And the next attack roll on it, wait, the next one or all of them? Next one. The next one has advantage. Doesn't matter. How do you want to do this? Oh my god, everything is dying. <laughs> Um, same thing as the vines, a light kind of originates where it's hit in the kind of middle of its torso and it spreads out and it turns to ash. Absolutely. Blows away and disappears. Yippee! Sorry, patron. Uh... That was awful. The two or the three nine cards lay smoking in the brazier. Was it the spades that is missing? No, because you burned the nine of hearts, and now you threw burned. you threw in the <laughs> nine of spades, nine of clubs, and nine of diamonds. Tried to burn those and got uh, that happened. Okay. Nine lives, so one through eight of the hearts, maybe? That's what Someone I'm else thinking. do it, though. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> next to I'll Lawrence. Go. I'm heading also back in. I just <clears throat> touched my way out of that one. Okay. I can do it, I guess. And I'll take two through eight in the hearts. <laughs> I won't throw the eights in yet, but... Not patron. Are, are you using... um? Dearest as a human shield. Yes. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to hand them to Ember to, so he can light them. And... There All right, go. so remind me which cards you're lighting. Two through eight of hearts? Yes. Not... I'm going to wait for okay. the ace. All right. You lay those uh, seven cards down. Light them up. Do you? Yes, light up. All right. A very large black flame spews from the brazier into the cat, and it twitches violently, and then stops. Nothing else happens? Revive the cat. Revive the cat. <laughs> if nothing else happens, then I'll pull out the Ace of Hearts. 
All right, you place the ace, ace of hearts in the brazier. Yep. And? Ember. Yeah, yeah, blaze it. <laughs> <laughs> you blaze it. Blaze it, he says. <laughs> and at this point, the flame shoots into the ceiling and then slowly dies down to a nice comfortable dark flame sustaining itself and energy runs along the floor into the cat who shakes shivers and then awakens walks over to the center and begins to retch as if it's oh, coughing wow. up a hairball. Oh well. And at your feet, Ember, it coughs up a amber and gold colored necklace. And then leaps into the fire. I, I pick up the necklace. As you pick up the necklace and the fire begins to die down, you look, see the cat is once again smoking uh, and you hear a click from the doorway is it over <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would be cute I guess you are in like hell but I was kind of hoping <laughs> we'd get like a, a pet cat yeah <laughs> I don't know why I thought that'd be cute I mean I guess we are in hell but I, that is such a good <laughs> <laughs> I had so hopes. I had here. hopes. I was hoping for something nice, but then I remembered my situation. Episode, boss. It is a necklace. Okay. Do you wish to investigate the necklace? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's be honest. Would Ember investigate it before putting it on? I don't know, would he? It just got puked out. You make an entirely fair point. Ember would put it on first and then investigate it. <laughs> is it still like, wet though? Like, is it still? No, is, does there's it still have there's like, no all the grossness? there's no vomit or anything. This is like. Is a... it warm to the touch? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Uh, I'm a street kid. Like I have put on worse clothes. Let's do this. Let's it's put a, on the It's a gold necklace oh. with a small little pendant that looks like it houses um, a small gem of maybe like amber or something. <gasps> Inside the amber, you kind of twist it and rotate it in the firelight, and you can see what almost looks like a cat inside. And then on the back side of this pendant, you see engraved in a very nice, pretty font the word honey. Aww. Adorable. Oh, that's sweet. Someone's cat in hell. I cast identify on it. Guy. All right, you identify it, and I will send you what it is. Cool. For reference, I'm a friend of mine. I'm actually give it to one of the people who actually solved this riddle. For reference, uh, our a friend of ours, his late cat who passed away a few a while back, was named Honey. Oh no. Rest in oh. I knew I said I might give it away, but I just read the description. I might, I might keep honey. <laughs> this is cute. What's the description? Once per long rest, you may cast the fine familiar spell without needing components. The familiar summon is always the same: an orange cat. Aww. Aww. I had kind of like that. And it's called Necklace of the Sweet Cat. Uh -huh. Aww. So well, maybe, maybe, it, so you maybe it was cute, even though we're in hell. Yeah. I actually <laughs> made an item like that in a previous campaign where you can summon my cat, Mona. <laughs> oh. Maybe hell is the cat friends we made along the way. Mm. Yeah. Cats That's are pretty friend. hellish creatures. <laughs> so are people, though. That's why they're the best friends for us. <laughs> anyway, is the gate open? It is unlocked. Yippee. I'm going through. You're going through. <clears throat> All right. All right. Keeping. And directly behind it is a small hallway that extends for a little bit, curves a bit, and around the corner you see a very slight green glow.
I, I, I go. I want to go. <laughs> you go. You I wanna go. as you I turn the corner. The light. As the as you turn the corner, you see what looks like an open portal. Oh, slowly oh. undulating with magic. Could it be? Well, at least we know it stays on the same plane. So then, do we jump in this portal, or do we investigate the fiend and other building that I think Anubis you well, saw, right? Yeah, but that's almost three miles north. Yeah. So that's like and... far enough away that I don't know if that's even something we need to worry about. Like that seems like mm-hmm. three else. miles through acidic forest that wants to kill us. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm cool moving on. If you guys are. Doric has yeah. 24 health. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I can try to cure wounds a little bit. Uh, his that's... maximum. Yeah, my maximum is down. Oh crap. Yeah, so how do we do that? Is that a long rest only, or...? Can uh... someone take a look at me medically? I'll look at you arcanically. I have a plus four medicine. I have a, a plus five medicine and plus four arcana, so... Make an okay. arcana. You're gonna um, have to make an arcana check. I Can I make an arcana it? check on myself? Sure. Well, I got a six, so I'm just looking at you, funny. <laughs> uh, well, I got a twenty-four. Let's okay. go. Knowing. So does someone get me a doctor? Wait, I am a doctor. <laughs> knowing, tip the how undead can drain life. It typically will resolve in a day. Like a long rest. <laughs> is it possible to resolve that using um, something like gentle repose, or does that only prevent stuff like this? No, gentle, gentle repose, repose prevents would like, be decay. Dead. Yeah, gentle um, repose only works on dead things. Yeah, that's I, that's post mortem only. I see. I, I have a stupid see. question. Actually, never mind. It was I, too stupid for me. I hope to never need to use gentle repose on a party member. <laughs> I just need some rest and something to eat. I think uh, that's a fair, fair request. Uh, let's see that if that portal out is to the next plane or er, circle, it's gonna be uh, Manithis, according to. Uh, according to Nar, it's a barren wasteland called the Blasted Plains with lots of dust storms and tornadoes. That seems pretty dangerous. Do we want to... I know that we... Uh, we haven't been on this circle for very long, but do we want to rest here? I think that might be best. Yeah. We haven't been on the circle very... Oh, sorry, we're not getting character. We haven't been on the circle very long, but we've gone through a lot in a short amount of time. You guys are taking a long rest, then? Yeah. All right. It's honk shoot time. Is anyone looking at the portal or anything? Or <laughs> you guys... Does anyone go outside at all? I think I'll stay inside. I, I use the necklace and actually summon the cat. I'll just sit with the cat next to the portal. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can... You summon the orange uh, cat. He's very cute, cuddly, and also kind of stupid. Yeah. I think every time somebody looks at Ember, he looks at the cat. cat. Like, doesn't even touch the cat, but the second they're alone, he's very cutesy and cuddles it. But not in front of a lot of people. I can't see that. Uh, for find familiar, you can. Let's see. When your familiar is within a hundred feet of you, you can communicate it. You can communicate with it telepathically. You can see through its eyes and hear what it hears. Um, you cannot have more than one familiar at a time. That doesn't affect you. You can cast touch spells through your familiar. Oh. Oh. Um, 
and it cannot attack. It obeys your commands, acts on its own turn. If it drops to zero HP, it disappears but does not die and can reappear when you cast the spell again. You can Ooh, I need attunement. You can it. the amulet. Uh, I don't know yet. I will say, do you have an open attunement slot? No, that's why I'm asking. Uh, ooh. I will think you on that. What? Right now, it's it's a no. You do not need two men. Okay. It seems pretty simple to yeah. Uh, require a two men. I agree. Um. Yeah. Okay. Anyone doing anything else during the rest? Know, um. Can I? So. I can replace infusions during at the end of a long rest. Would I be able to change the uh, since my resistant armor uh, infusion is just an infusion? Can I just change its da uh, damage type? Focus. Did you have you had resistant armor? Yeah, acid resistant. Were you keeping track of that when you were taking uh, acid damage? Were you, were you telling me when I took acid? Well, actually. I don't Dork know if... did not take damage from the plants. Yeah, like, I don't think you oh, okay. did get got that much from it. Cool, cool, okay. Uh, yes, I think you can swap. You should be able to swap the infusion. It, Why wouldn't you? It just makes sense. I'm just asking you yeah, if you yeah, want you're good. to roll it differently. But... Alright. I'm going to change it to necrotic. Alright. And long rest, but all right. Is anyone doing anything else? Nope. Wait, we we decided to not cure the curse on Emrys or wait to cure the curse on that? Um, we've been waiting because we don't want to piss off the demon early yeah. for no reason. How many more floors do we have to get to? Uh, let me check my notes. So we have Menethys and then Climber's Doom. Isn't, and I, isn't he in Colothus? Is Colothus the climbing one? Yes, the climbers do. So after Menethis. Okay, so we have one more, and then we have the floor that he's on. Yeah, we just got to get through the storms. Okay. So, the one so then I can plan to, to to cure it, I guess, before our next long rest, right? That way I don't have to use a spell slot. So I, I'm going to switch, switch out one of my spells for that and just save it until, like, later. Oh, well, let me check. I don't think I have any spells that would help us really, but. You can look at your spells outside of the game, by the way, too. I was like, are we waiting on a thing? Or we... Yeah. What's happening? No, I think <clears throat> I think unless anyone has anything else they need to talk about before you guys go sleepy sleep in uh, the kitty grave. Yeah, if we're just switching out spells, like that. we could do that. Right here. After... Then with that, as you guys, uh, you know, undo your bed rolls and begin to get comfy, we will end it there. Thank you for playing with me. This was very fun. Uh, I'm glad this puzzle, I think this puzzle was the right amount of difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one went smoother. 
it made it very rewarding to get it accomplished. It wasn't like, oh, finally it's done. It's like, oh, we fucking got it. <laughs> good, good. Yay. It was great. It was great. Right on time. Yeah. And we are right on time. So um, we will be on vacation next week. So no ESPA. And I will see about being ready for the week after. Hell yeah. After you guys traverse this strange portal. Where does it go? Who knows? I will be starting back to school next week, so my schedule is going to be weird. Damn it. Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I was, you know, I, it's university, so I don't have class every day. So right. It's, we'll, it's we'll, work, we'll work with it. We'll work yeah. with it. Yeah. But a uh, morning class. Will be fuck. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, spectators. Thank you, players. It was fantastic as always. And I will see yeah. you guys when we next play. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.